going from radians to degrees and back and forth is actually pretty easy, I promise. And a lot of people like don't even know what radians are. Like, what I don't even know. Like, what is what are radians? Radians is just another kind of unit for for degrees, right? So for an angle measure. So you know we're really common. Like I mean we're really comfortable with the idea of degrees. Like when you're a little kid, if you do a 360, you know oh like I did a 360 on my skateboard. That is a full circle. So that's 360 degrees is a is a full circle. And actually uh, 360, if we call it a full circle degrees is equal to 2 pi radians, and that is a full circle. So actually, it would be totally accurate to like name your new skate trick a 2 pi, right? Like, oh, I just did like a 2 pi. And actually, half, a lot of skaters will do like half a circle, half a spin, which is a 180, right? 180, well, that's a pi, so pi radians. So if you wanted to be like one of the cooler skateboarders in your neighborhood, you can start converting all of your little measurements from degrees to radians. And for now on, you're going to do like a, like a pi kickflip, or like a two pi, whatever, right? Okay, so you get the point. But that that doesn't help us with, I mean, that's the, that's the basic, but now let's talk about converting actual radians into degrees and vice versa. The thing to know is this, it's either 180 over pi or pi over 180. And I used to confuse them all the time, so here's how you know. Let's say they say you have, um, we'll say you have two thirds pi and you want that into degrees. The way I always remember it is, this is the one to go from radians to degrees. And the reason is, is that you want the pi's to cancel. So look at this, if you had two pi over three, you'd multiply it by 180 over pi, and that magically the pi's disappear. So if you're having a hard time memorizing it, pi on the bottom is to get rid of radians, pi on the top is to move degrees into radians. So let's do this one. So you have Here's your 2 thirds pi radians. Okay, 2 pi over 3 times 180 over pi. My pi's cancel, which is a miracle. 3 actually goes into 180 60 times. So this is 2 times 60, which is 120 degrees. Okay, perfect. So now let's say we want to go from degrees to radians, right? So now we're like, oh, this is confusing. Let's say I have um, whatever, like 90 degrees, and I want to put that into radians. In this case, you multiply it by the one where the pi is on top. And actually, another way to do it is say is to, to memorize it is to say I want to get rid of degrees. So the 180 is degrees. If I want to get rid of degrees, put it in the bottom. So look at this one. Okay, I'm going to put that over one. Uh, done. This cancels with this, and I'm left with pi over two. That is beautiful. That is 90 degrees. I mean, excuse me. That was 90 degrees, and now it's pi over two radians. Cool. So yeah, I, I think that it's really easy to do the math, but I think it's really e easy to forget which way you want to do it. And so now my new little, this is like on the spot, impromptu. If you're going from radians to degrees, you want degrees on top and your pi radians on the bottom. And if you're going from the other way, obviously, right, from degrees to radians, you use this one. You want to cancel your degrees and keep your radians. And that's it, it's pretty easy. Uh, remember, if you're having a hard time with math at your local high school, you can take this online at a Silicon Valley high school and have the credits transferred back to your school.